Hey! That's it. Just hey. So on my gaming channel, one of my favorite things to do when I play indie horror games is to go through the house and pick it apart. Usually, to point out that, like, the cabinets are completely empty, or they have mugs with nothing on them, you know, that type of stuff. And a few months ago, I had an idea to do the same thing, but with, uh, YouTuber house tours. This first one that we'll be watching is from some person named Mo Vlogs. I have no idea who they are. They have 10 million subscribers, so that's pretty par for the course on YouTube. Finding somebody that you have, you have no idea who they are, but they have 10 million subscribers. Happens, like, every day. And, uh, apparently they have a, a house tour that I've heard is really bad, so I'm excited to check it out. Hello, 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 everyone! What okay, is Okay, wait, 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 right off the bat, wait, 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 wait. What are you knocking on? Yeah, you're knocking on the gate to the driveway of the house? That's weird. I guess they were going for an intro, whatever. Man, we didn't even make it like four seconds in before I had something to say, right? This is gonna be a long video. Hello, 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 everyone! Hi, Mo. Hi guys, so welcome to my brand new house. The wait, 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 I, I, before we go any further, I have to point out the Cyan Lambo and then the matching other supercar there. Why'd they get them the same color? I love the way it looks. I just feel like it's a nice house. You feel like it's a nice house? It's a mansion. You paid millions of dollars for it, right? It better be a nice house, yeah. Right, now it's time for the masterpiece. Welcome to the crib. Ooh. Great showmanship. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, Hang on, pause, pause. What is that? This doesn't fit the rest of what was shown. They show this like grand staircase and these this big living room and stuff, and then they show this. The, this is this can't be the kitchen, right? Let's start with the first living room. Now this house has two living rooms, guys, and the first one is over here. Oh, so guys, this is more for like the first time visitors. It's like the fancy living room. Well, what? This is more for like the first time visitors. Is that an intimidation tactic? What is that? Now the entire house has LED lights, guys. So you can actually switch off the main lights. Whoa. You know, I have LED lights in my office right now. Anyone can do it. Anyone can put LED lights up. Now guys, this is something I had to get. We got the world's ugliest clock. I, I don't even know what this is, guys. <gasps> no. Oh shit. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Guys, this is why you don't give a 25 year old boy a house. Well, nobody gave you the house. You bought it, right? My favorite thing about this place is we have a tray for food. <laughs> That's your favorite thing about your multi-million dollar mansion is that you have like a $20 food tray, right? Moving on guys is the bathroom, all right? Now I'm super excited about this bathroom because it's great. No offense, dude, but that looks absolutely terrible. Now, guys, the inside. Uh, <laughs> you didn't forget. We don't. We don't want to show the inside right now. I just, I just didn't. I didn't work on the inside. We All right. We should upgrade that one. Anyways, guys, now that you've seen the living room, it's time to take you to the main area of the house. Oh, I'm sorry. I just there's too much. There's too much like gray in that room. All right, guys. So That's a very gray room. To the main living room of the house, guys. I guess, so as you can see, first things first, the entire area is carpeted. Yeah, yes, yes, we can see that. It's overwhelming. As you can see, I also have a really cool TV design. It's got a floating cabinet and a TV. Yes, you've mounted the TV. <laughs> you've mounted the TV. Very proud of yourself. We got surround sound everywhere, so you know, when you're watching movies, everything just sounds really nice, guys. Now, this is the part which no I way. really, really don't use. Um, how do you turn on the really lights? Nice. Wow. That's their so entire the kitchen. kitchen. Now, I actually went and wrapped all of the cabinets in grey, guys, so... This area, we kind of just put a table for, like, relaxation. And nobody's ever used it. And nobody's ever used it. Yeah, I wonder why. Would you ever sit there? You're cramped in by the staircase. No one's gonna sit there. Can we please go back to the, to the kitchen? If you can even call it that. Dude, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine spending millions of dollars on a house and having that kitchen. Oh. What? And then he says, and then he says, I don't even use it. Now this is the part which I really, really don't use. Yeah, I mean, 
that's the only way that it makes sense that you have that kitchen in this house is if you don't use it. Why even have a kitchen? I can't get over how bad that kitchen is. That's really disturbing. When they show the and what's what's weird is that in the opening montage, they had it in the montage. They were like, here's the grand staircase. Here's the shitty kitchen. Why was it part of why was it part of the opening montage? It was like the least impressive part of the house. Check it out. There's a game table. Look at that. This is not an ordinary gaming table, guys. This is actually a five-in-one. They have an entire room dedicated to this table. There's nothing on the walls. It's just the table itself is this impressive. So that's the gaming room. Now it's time to take you... Oh, that's the gaming room. You know, here's a wild thought. Maybe the house isn't ready for a tour yet. If, if your gaming room has just like one five-in-one table, and then nothing at all on the walls or anything. No decor, no lighting, nothing. I don't understand. All of the bedrooms are not ready, but this right here, this is one of the master bedrooms. Wait, there's one of them? Yeah, guys, so here's the thing, all right? Let, let me explain, guys. This is the second master bedroom, but- Oh, shoot. There's no door handle on it yet, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> there's no door handle on one of the master bedrooms. Why? So guys, this room I will show you in a later video because we're still working on it. There's a few projects going on inside here. Or maybe someone else is inside there. Alright guys, now welcome to the monster room. No, 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 you can't just gloss over this. You can't just be like, oh, don't worry about it. There's no door knob? Oh, we're doing something in there. I don't believe that for a second. I think when you bought the house, there was no door knob on the door and there's nothing in there. That's what I think is going on. I don't think anything actually is being worked on or there's no project. There's no project in there. Hi guys, so this is the master bedroom. Now, as you guys know, the way I like to design my rooms is super simple, super elegant, yeah. you know, clean. I have not gotten that vibe from you at all from this video. But all right, whatever you say. Hi guys, so this room also has another secret surprise. Is it a window? Woo, woo! Oh, uh, okay. Now, I can show you the view, all right? The master view, woo! Yep, that's my swimming pool. Let's go show them. Okay, he was really hyping up that view, and then it was just the pool. I was kind of expecting, like, nature or something. You could see, like, downtown or something from the balcony, but no, it's just the pool and a bunch of concrete. Great. Great view. So, welcome to the swimming pool, guys. This is freaking amazing, guys. Here we, 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 we do our well, you know, well, party we, pool, we, well, pool party. This is where you swim. You can, just say, you can just say this is where we swim. You don't have to have some elaborate buildup. So this is where we do our pool, 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 pool parties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So now that you see the swimming pool, we also have some other really cool stuff in the house, guys. This is the relaxation area. So we got one of these things over here. Ah, uh, yes, the relaxation area, where a total of one person can relax at a time. Hi guys, so this is like a relaxation tent I have over here, which I can just chill in. But over here, we have the barbecue grill. So whenever we do parties, yeah, which we will do very soon, yeah, inshallah. We okay, I don't think anyone has ever used that grill, actually, judging from the dust that was kicked up there. What? Why would you include this in the house tour? Check out this dusty grill I've got that no one's ever used. And no one will ever use. Wow, look at that. You don't know, you don't know what you're looking at, dude. Don't even act. Don't even act like you know what you're looking at. You don't know what's going on in there. You've never seen, you've never used a grill before. Wow, look inside this grill. It looks really grilly. Okay, so now that you've seen the barbecue and everything else, we have another little cool thing over here. Is <laughs> it? Is it a quarantine tent? What is this? This is the VIP room in the garden, guys. Check this out. Oh, my mistake. It's a VIP room. It kind of looks like where you have to put on a radioactive suit, but sure. Guys, welcome to the VIP room. Whoa. This is, this is nice. No, it is not. No, it is not. What? You put a couple of couches and a table in there? What are people supposed to do? Why is it closed off? Just leave it open. This is where you throw your parties. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, pl you're planning on throwing parties here? For how many people? Eight? There's like seven people in the VIP tent and one person in the relaxation 
area. How many people are gonna be at these parties? It can't accommodate that many people. All right, so that was Mo Vlogs. Um, <laughs> what am I supposed to say about that house? Um, it wasn't ready for the tour. I think we could all agree. Wasn't ready for the tour. It was like barely furnished. Like, what, did you just move in yesterday? Where's your, where's your computer, by the way? Where do you like edit together your videos? Who am I talking about? He doesn't edit his videos together. Never mind. Actually, can we go back for a second? Because speaking of that really gray living room, there was so much happening. I missed this. Did he say those speakers were surround sound? And we got surround sound everywhere. So, you know, when you're watching movies, everything just sounds really nice, guys. Okay, okay. No, you, you, you didn't set up the surround sound properly because you put all four speakers on, on the left and right of the TV. You're supposed to surround the area with them. You're supposed to have two front, two back. That's how surround sound works. That's not surround sound. That's just that's just gonna be blasting sound at you from one direction. I think I was I think I was too busy uh, snarking about how he was proud that he mounted a TV, called it his d TV design or something. Really cool TV design. Completely missed the surround sound part, but wow. You know, overall, I think just from an entertainment factor, uh, the house tour was great. I can't decide what my favorite part was. Uh, the clock that didn't have any batteries in it. Um, the relaxation area that was a chair the gaming room that had a table in it and nothing else or the tiny kitchen i mean there were just so many classic moments in this video i will say though um i'm not an idiot and i'm pretty sure that he didn't even buy this house i think this is either a rental that showed off for a YouTube video, or someone else owns the house and they told him that he could vlog in it, but he couldn't show certain rooms. Cause there's a couple times where he was like, oh, we can't show the bathroom. We can't show the second master bedroom. We can't show this, we can't show that. This is not an uncommon thing to happen on YouTube. A lot of YouTubers do house tours for houses that they don't actually own. They'll show off Lambos that are rentals, you know. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. Cause it's more about appearances than anything actually real. Like owning stuff like this is really expensive. And uh, why would you spend the money when you can just make the video? It's the same thing really. Okay, this is another house tour that was suggested to me. It's from some people named Matt and Summer. And this is a three million pound house. And uh, just from the outside, I'm not seeing the value, but all right, let's, uh, let's get into it. 20 minutes? All right. Hey everyone, Matt here. We have an incredible Hi, episode Matt. for you today. Incredible property behind me, full of innovation, full of technology. Oh wait, oh, so this isn't their house. Oh, that kind of takes the fun out of it. I thought, <laughs> I thought I was looking at like a house they just bought. Oh, actually just looking at their channel, they, <laughs> this is what they do. They're like real estate agents and they show off houses from around the world. Oh, I was thinking this was gonna be like a YouTuber um, house or whatever, I'll watch it. wonderful contemporary design. You guys know from our channel, we explore a lot of houses and I can tell you the attention to detail in this is second to none from little details that I'll explain Okay, further. he's talking about, this guy like looks at houses for a living, right? He's talking about this like it's gonna blow my mind. So why, uh, why am I looking at this? I, I want to see the bad ones. We've got a red post box. You will start to see a lot of red throughout. It is the owner's personal um, favorite color. Yeah, I mean, red and black is uh, one of my favorite color combinations too. I've used it on my gaming channel for like 10 years. So yeah, I'm I'm down. Okay, this is- But whilst everything is looking pretty cool so far. change that very easily. Here's the front door. Uh, <laughs> mm, uh, I mean, I like, I just got done saying I like red and black, but I don't know about that. What's really cool, you can take your thumb. Well, I can't because it's not my house, but you've got <laughs> touch entry just here. And then that lets you in. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go. Okay, as someone who's like really security conscious, I would not want anything like that. Like, g give me a key. I want a metal physical key, please. Come on through to the entrance. Now this is around five meters wide. It's an incredible feeling. Oh, so that the lines aren't just on the front door, they're on every door in the house? The space, you will notice. Okay. Piece, which is it looks like an office. Door, and I love the LED lights up both sides. <laughs> I, this and literally this looks like an office. In okay, so All right. at the front then, we have what would appear as a ginormous lounge and perhaps the main lounge of I'm the sorry, house, but wait, wait, did you just, did you just, <laughs> did you just describe this room as ginormous? I mean, I guess it looks bigger because there's nothing in it. That TV is so small. Are you supposed to watch TV in here? Oh, what, that thing? This is a secondary room 
Um, so well, yeah, it has to be secondary. Well, it can't be a primary you know, room. Yeah. There's there's two people that can sit here yeah. to watch like a, a 35 inch TV eight feet away. Perfect. Gotta be a secondary room. Why is it at the front yeah. of the house? Lovely large windows to that side with electric blinds. Yeah. And underfloor heating throughout as well. So you've got underfloor heating throughout, not just this floor, all three uh, floors. Well, well, why would you have underfloor heating when the room's carpeted? Am I missing something? But if you have carpet, why would you need it? I don't know. I guess rich people just blow money on anything, right? It's concrete each floor. Um, with So you've got hard floor and then carpet in the lounges here and then the first floor. And second floor is all carpet as well. So wait, you have underfloor heating on all three floors and the entire second and third floors are carpeted. Am I reading this right? Am I crazy? Have the downstairs cloakroom. Now it's more than that though. It's really busy, huh? Really busy tile. I can feel the underfloor heating, I think. I know. Oh, you can feel the underfloor heating. Those double doors. But wait, you have shoes on, don't you? In total throughout this house. Wait, did he just say he could feel the underfloor heating when he has shoes on? Lie, liar! Are you ready? Let's go. I am ready, you liar. Wow, so this is see? the main living and entertaining area. Okay, I'll this put is the better. Measurements on screen so you can just see how long this room actually is. Uh, what you notice oh, is okay, maybe not. Over. Love this fireplace, lovely and warm. My favorite part, I would definitely have a nap. You would? You would have a nap on the ground next to that? Like a dog? Dude, if I bought a multi million dollar mansion and I found myself sleeping on the floor, like an animal, I, I would feel kind of ripped off, I think. Yeah. Now, these blinds are really clever as well. They actually work with the um, sun. And so, for example, the sun is going so to rise you don't over there. The sun, sun is in way too hot. See, these blinds so don't work. See, so so you don't want straight for the sun. I'm sorry, but I'm really distracted by this seat behind him. Who is going to sit there? Is that a pet seat? Certainly not for a human. Why would you ever sit there? These blinds, sorry, will work very smartly. And Please comment yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, you just have them on automatic timer. Oh, you can have them come, come off the blinds. The I don't care about the blinds. Yeah, Talk about the door. weird seat. If you want to, you Please. can do them um, remotely as well. Just like Here we that. Go. There's a reason that they're concentrating on the blinds and they're not talking about the rest of the room. It's because there's nothing to talk there's about. There's some really interesting things to talk to you guys about how this property was actually built. And before we oh yeah, they're there, just blowing so past the weird seat. Look, there's another that. one! So there's another weird cheap. seat! Why would you like, ever sit there? Down here, these Look, he's, he's, blocking like he's blocking it. He's blocking it, he's blocking it from the camera. What he's talking about, like, he's talking about the molding. Details, look, you start to see that the that baseboards. Really set this place apart. What is this? So no! This is the dining room. It's more of a formal space. Now, it is still nice to have a dining area for Christmas time family get together. Oh yeah, nothing oh, screams so Christmas like see. this. What is the chair? Look at the chair in the, in the corner. Large windows. These is are that like the, the timeout corner? That You're in timeout, you can't sit with us at Christmas, you gotta sit in the corner. Um, a nice breeze. And again, he goes straight to the windows because he's like, then once again, electric blinds. Air filtration. But look, they're just, they're so, they're so like trying to avoid talking about like the weird seating. Oh yeah, air filtration. Fascinating. Please take me out of here, Matt and Summer. Please take me out of here. Should we go check it out? Get, get, that area is no good. Wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, is this not one of the largest kitchens that we've probably ever seen? You know what? This, this, this beats Mo Vlog's kitchen. I will say that. Mo, this is what a good kitchen looks like. This is what an expensive kitchen looks like. Thank you. This is the one yeah, part of the house that I'm okay with. Room is a, is a lovely, normal I don't kitchen. understand yeah. the cherries. <laughs> the counter's cool. This is a normal style stone worktop, but as you can see, it's double. So in total, this is 45 millimeters. And there's a steel... <laughs> Fascinating. Very there. thick okay. countertops, guys. So then, okay, across here, we've got the Samsung Is that ovens. three ovens? This is actually a double oven. I didn't so even... You can open it all the way. Wait, what? Now so you've got three double ovens. And then you've got the dining room with seven chairs and a timeout corner. But you're going to be cooking a lot of food <laughs> for those those eight people that could be seated there. And then don't forget the don't forget the two extra seats in the primary living room by the wall. And that's because the owner actually lives in this property. Yes. So when you're living in a property, you know little things like that. Oh, yeah. so the owner actually yeah, lives here. Realize what's really important. D they must what never have guests. When you're not just doing it for it. My biggest issue with this yeah. remains yeah, the seating. It's bizarre. So here they have to live in this house alone. 
Um, this is a house for like one those, person. And, or, or a larger What's with the cherry again? Buyers. There's another cherry in um, here? Millions of dollars spent on the house. Hire an interior designer, please, for the love of God. Should we go check out the first floor? Up yeah. the stairs, let's go. Oh, okay, so that was the entire ground floor. Let's start off on this side. We have a air and cupboard. <laughs> Why would you even show that? Why would you even show that? Don't show us that. That's all the nothing. Rooms are great sizes. We'll put all the measurements on the screen so you can um, know for yourself. What is this? this room is currently a study, but you is can it? do anything. I mean, you would have to stay in this room because there's really nothing else to do. Here we are. This one cool. Has there's a bed and two side tables TV and a yeah, mirror. A walking wardrobe. Everything you need. Six bedrooms. In a bedroom. Look how big these windows are. Huge yeah, again with the windows. Stop trying it's to distract so us from the rest it of the crappy so room. And a great view to the back. Like, oh, what is this? Here's wow. the wardrobe. I'm sorry, are you telling me... <laughs> you're, t uh, are you telling me the you owner lives here? This is big. Wait till you see the master bedroom. Oh, they this live in the master actually, bedroom, right? surely. No one lives here. Like what is this? This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, for all of those that love the Don't show us this. Don't show us this. Everything in here. Automatic light. This room is currently used as a gym. But again, whatever you choose for it to be. This room is currently bedroom, used as a gym. A there is one machine in there and a and mat. This this like this that. room is currently yeah, used as nothing. Lights put there is so it's not used at all. Partition. Okay, sorry. There's there's another machine. <laughs> there's two <laughs> machines in the gym. This house. You know, I've never been a fan of freestanding furniture in bedrooms. I like them very minimal. Yeah. And this okay. is this works for that. Let us know down below, guys, what you're thinking, what you would do if you owned this house. I would hire an interior designer to answer your question. I would hire an interior designer. Is everyone ready for the principal bedroom? We're ready. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip that other one. That one doesn't matter. Here we are. Uh, there is a balcony. Wow. That summer, is the summer, not, the not that impressive. Yeah. You want to lay out in the sun and check out some freshly cut grass? <laughs> take a look at the bedroom from this That's side all that's out there. They were really hyping up the master bedroom, and I gotta say, I'm not that impressed with it. We're just gonna skip that other room, I guess. Maybe it's another closet. But they keep showing us stuff like the server room and the, and, and the storage closets and stuff. I don't know why they skipped that other one. This is called, is it a vision roof? Yeah, this is a vision roof. That's a and skyline. Glass. That's what it's called. So a vision roof. That's really overselling it. You have your bed facing. Th this room literally oh. has nothing oh, in it. Oh, you can literally sit in bed and look out that window. Yeah. You say the owner lives and here? Also, you, there's walks around the, just out the back. How often are they home? Like park. once a month for like a Walking day? Board. Let us know in the comments what you would do on this floor if you owned it. I guess I would this just sleep because there's too. nothing else to do. Where what I would I do on this floor? What is there to do on this floor? Wardrobe. Sleep in the one Every bed? Night. What's with the bananas? What was that? What was that with the banana? Window. They're storing bananas yeah. in the closet? And Are they in the banana the racket? Screens. What's going on? It says grab our shoes and head out to the garden. Oh wait, did she say we're gonna grab our shoes? Oh, they did take their shoes off. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't mean to call you a liar. I You had your socks on, okay. Okay, well then you would have felt the Outside, heat. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> I'm sorry. They, they put a clip in the montage of the gym with two machines. Okay, there's no way anybody actually lives there, right? Like, that's... They may have lived there at a, at a time, but they don't live there anymore. There's no way. Well, like... Uh, 90% of the rooms are completely empty. The attention to detail in this is second to none. Wow, three million pounds, huh? Like the house is nice. The actual like structure and everything of the house is is fine, but wow, I, I just, the decor is really not doing it any favors. <laughs> it's, that's not gonna sell the house the way that it's furnished at all. I did feel sorry for them. I, I, Matt and Summer came across very likable, uh, especially towards the end. I was like, oh, okay, you guys are trying your best with this because they kept going into like empty room after empty room and just immediately going to the windows like, isn't it a great window? Isn't it great, great blinds? Because there's nothing else to talk about. Well, that was exhausting. But fun. Hope you had fun. Let me know what you thought in uh, in the comments about the debut Wolf Watch video. This is the very first time I'm trying anything non-gaming, so I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. And if you could just not end the video and be like, "Oh, that was alright," or you know, and then just please leave feedback. Thank you. I thrive off of it. It's not true, but I would like. I am curious to read it. Just on this one. In the future videos, you don't have to give. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have a feeling after I read your feedback on this video, I'll be like, eh, maybe I don't want their feedback anymore. So this is a one-time deal. I'm accepting feedback for the first and only time uh, on this video. So thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.